throw-in is taken by Bree, back to the right side of the box, and Panzu's ball into the box, glanced on by Bradley, and now a chance for Adebayo, Travers is there, and Lloyd Kelly, who can't believe it, for the second time this season, has scored an own goal against Luton. Campbell now through the middle for Luton from midfield, shoots low, oh that's a great strike, there's absolutely no doubt about that one, from Alan Campbell. But the hard-working Stacey has won it back, and then Adebayo is pressing back in the challenge over on the far side, but Stacey's wriggled between two of them, great run this from Jack Stacey, and the cross to Mark Condes, who scores again, made by some brilliance from Jack Stacey on the right-hand side, who went past two Luton players, teased it on a sixpence for Emmy Mark Condes to head home, and ball with a right back in this one, just six minutes into the second half. Yeah. Luton two, Bournemouth one. Up towards the halfway line, Marcondes, now some room for Christie, who played a blind ball but still manages to get it beyond Amari Bell. Stacey's coming up. Here's Jamal Lowe now, Stacey outside him, Jamal Lowe into the peri, pulls it back to Morgan Rogers! Yes! Yes! And Morgan Rogers off the bench, makes an immediate impact! The Manchester City Lowe, who has waited for it all to click in a Bournemouth shirt, has found his time here at Kenilworth Road as he lashes in the equaliser. Bournemouth from two down, back to 2-2. Two -two. Now the right-hand side for Bree to pull a ball in, teases one to the back post, oh, there's a penalty shout there as the referee waves away. Cal Naismith tries to shoot, turns onto his right foot. Cal Naismith has won it. He's won it for Luton with the last kick of the game. In the 97th minute, Luton having thrown away a 2-0 lead, seen it pull back to 2-2. Two -two. With probably the best player on the pitch, a pinch the points at the end. Luton three, on the two.